Transforming transplants, that's the plan of a Minnesota company that wants to end wait lists for organ transplants, and they believe they can do it by taking animal organs and using new technology to turn them into human ones. Chris Rapsky explains. Nestled in an industrial building in Eden Prairie is the heart of Miro Matrix, a 92-employee company attempting to change the course of human medical history. A bioengineered organ has never been transplanted into a human. And that's what you're trying to do. This will be a first. CEO Jeff Ross shows us what the company's been working on for the last 12 years, what has generated $130 million in funding. What we're able to do is take a whole organ that nature already created from an animal like a pig and simply remove all the cellular material from it. They take the kidneys and livers from pigs and transform them into what they hope to be fully transplantable, on-demand human organs. Here's essentially how it works. They take an organ from a pig and they extract all the pig cells from the organ, just leaving this protein collagen structure. And then they take discarded or unused human cells from human organs and they put them back in this structure. And here you've gone from a pig organ to a usable, potentially, human organ. We grow these organs over a course of 14 to 28 days to the point that uh, they would have that level of functionality then to move forward. The company starts with pig organs because, well, pigs don't smoke or drink. Their kidneys and livers give the company a pristine starting point. The human cells they use to engineer the new organ comes from donors whose organs were never placed for transplant or had certain defects. It is essentially human cell recycling. What do you hope for? To, to complete our mission, to be able to have a future where a patient no longer is waiting by the phone to see, hey, am I going to get called for my organ? Miro Matrix has shown success in large animal study and will submit their application to the FDA for human trials by the end of the year.